Can you guess what kind of watercolor wash was applied in this picture? Or how do we handle this? In this video, I will explain how do we paint this as well as what are other watercolor washes that are applied in day-to-day -day painting. Now, first thing first, we need right paper. Maybe a hot press or cold press. Here in this painting, I'll be practicing with cold press paper. Then it comes to a brush. My go-to brush is the mop brush, which is of natural hair, squirrel hair brush. Then we may need a masking tape for our paper stretching. Well, without that, we can stretch our paper too. Let's see how can we do that. This is a spray bottle. We spray it on the paper and then we spray on the board. Then we stick the paper onto the board. We may need to spray underneath the paper several times. Then we spray on the top of the paper and with the brush, we lay the fresh water onto the paper. Now, what can we do with this wet paper? Let's get some pigment. I'm taking cobalt blue. See the consistency, very thick consistency. And then I applied that one on the corner of the paper, anywhere you can apply. So this wash is called strict wash. You can have some little bit of plan where to apply these and then you can go ahead with that one. Now tilt the board and take the paint the direction you want to, but do not use any brush. In the end, let the paint be completely dry. Now looking at this scene, I feel like this is a sea seascape with the sky and sea. So I took a synthetic hairbrush and with some neutral tint paint and just trying to draw the bottom of a boat and trying to do some mark for waves and also the edges of the boat. You can do anything. You can do boat or you can simply leave it as it is, like a sky. You can draw some birds, something like that. I'm feeling like drawing a boat just using lavender color to make it a little bit lighter and giving it a shape. Let's make the paper a little bit wet with the fresh water and then use cobalt blue with a bit of neutral tint to paint the waves. And then I'm using rigor brush to draw the railing of the boat and the mast and the sails. just drawing very lightly at the moment using some little bit of warm red color in there with a bit of Chinese white mix just to draw the sails and a bit of lavender on the edges the railings are there I'm not trying to be too much specific about anything just a bit of suggestion and using some Chinese watch to do the waves motion. And that's pretty much it. So you can see that using this strict wash, we came up with a beautiful but very simple painting. Now let's go back to basic. How many washes do you have? Let's start with a flat wash. Make a huge amount of paint, more than you need. With a flat brush, any color you want. I'm using green here and then on the paper I'm applying that one from left to right. The reason I mixed up too much color so that I don't have to make the color again and destroy the continuity of the consistency of the color. From left to right slowly smoothly. You can sometimes do from top to bottom, but you need to make sure the paper is still wet when you do that. When it's done, leave it like that. Make it completely dry. This is very important. Make it completely dry. So that's the flat wash. Now let's do gradated wash. Gradated wash gradually increase the pigments on the paper. So let's try with the cobalt blue, light consistency and from left to right, exactly the way you did the flat wash. But you need to make sure you have the beads down at the bottom because that makes your gradation nicely and smoothly. Now slowly add the consistency of the color a bit more. I'm adding more cobalt blue, the 
more I'm going down, making my pigments a bit thicker. And then you can go like this, or you can add different color and go switch to different colors slowly. But we need to make sure the consistency is exactly like you are going to. So I just added a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of ultramarine with the cobalt blue. And gradually when I'm going down, I'm adding, I'm increasing the thickness of the paint. And very down at the bottom, my value will be higher. And make it completely dry. That's your gradated wash. Let's have a look side by side. So one is flat wash, another one is gradated wash. Now the next wash is called wet into wet. You have seen that many times. So let's get a paper. Let's try with cobalt blue. Just here and there, doesn't matter where. And just mix up a little bit of burnt sienna or cadmium red or any sort of warm color. And see how they mix up on the paper while the paper is wet. Don't try to play around with the brushes while you have wet into wet chemistry going on on the paper. You can tilt your board and see, move the water direction a little bit here and there and see how they come up. So that's make it completely dry. That is your wet into wet. Now, let's have a look into the very first one we tried, the streaked wash. As you can see, you just make your paper wet with the brush or spray bottle and then take any color or any pigment you like, have a plan before that one and drop your pigment anywhere you want. If you have a plan, they would know where to. Then you will need to tilt your board to take the direction. These are strict wash. Strict wash is important to show the direction of the wind or sea or cloud or maybe texture. You can control that one by tilting the board wherever you want. But you need to make sure your wash is completely dry before you apply to the next one. Now let's have a look how we can use the flat wash and gradated wash together and make a painting. Now let's have a flat wash of quinacridone gold on the paper and make sure this is completely dry. Now add a bit of raw sienna with the quinacridone gold and draw the mountain. Just one mountain and then make sure that's dry. Then add a bit of burnt sienna with the existing wash and draw another mountain and make sure that is dry as well. Now let's switch the color. Let's add a bit of cobalt blue to make it a little bit greenish. And draw another mountain which is closer to the foreground. And slowly go down and slowly add a little bit of pigment onto that and go down gradually. Now we are doing gradated wash in here. Just before we did some flat wash and then we're doing gradated wash. So we just add a bit of blue, make it more darker, value more higher and finish it off very gradually in the end. Now get some darker value and do the foreground. Do some mountain trees and stuff. Or you can do whatever you want. I'm just doing some verticals, some mountain trees, and using my nails, just scratching somewhere, just to make some textures and this stuff. Also changing my pigment color to draw the mountain trees far near the horizon. And just do a little bit of details and that is all. So it's, as you can see, we have used two basic washes, flat wash and gradated wash, and then used some foreground details and came up with a beautiful painting.
you can try at home with different sort of washes, apply different washes and see what can you come up with. So this is the final piece, as you can see how I have done that one. So now you can try different, different washes, combine different washes and see how you can go about that one. I have an ebook created for you. You download link is in the description. You can download that and you can do the practice at home. There are a lot of information there. Also, let me know if you could come up with any different combination of washes to make a great painting. Now let's do a practice of gradated wash. This is the last example I will be showing. So let's try with yellow ochre and do the start doing the wash from the very top. I will be doing a sunset scene and gradually I go down and I will start adding ultramarine blue the more I go down gradually and add the values of the ultramarine blue by adding a bit of cobalt blue in there and very down at the end I will have a little bit of darker value of the blue and I'll make sure that's completely dry. When that's dry I will take neutral tint and draw the boat. Any sort of shape or boat you can draw. It doesn't have to be perfect As you can see, I'm just drawing kind of rectangular shape and probably do s some little bit of gesture of a boat, just a bit of calligraphic work and then do the mast. My synthetic hairbrush tip is very handy with that one and then add a little bit of Chinese white and ultramarine blue with my neutral tint and make it a bit of lighter and and do the reflections just do as you want it to be not too much just a little bit and then probably down at the bottom I'll do some brush stroke dry brush stroke to make it a waves as you can see the dry brush stroke created that waves filling and make the value darker in the bottom and that's finished let's take the tapes off and that is how you can create one simple scene using the gradated wash thanks for watching thank you very much don't forget to download the pdf i'll see you in the next video bye